Even if you know what you want in life, staying focused can be really hard. Now, it's even harder when you don't even really know what you want or where you're trying to go or what you're excited about right now. I thought I would share some of my experiences that happened over the last year or two and how these really helped me figure out a really key exercise for staying focused and on point internally. What up guys, Alex Hine. And if you've ever wondered what the hell to do with life, you should read a book called Milk the Pigeon. Before we jump in, I also have a free journaling worksheet below this video on how to get your life together and specific journaling exercises you can use to figure that out. So I had a profound experience when I finally became fully self-employed, right? For me to become fully employed by Modern Health Monk, it took me over three years and three months of every single day, seven days a week, building this brand and figuring out how a business really works. And that was working a full-time job. Imagine after three years and three months of really not liking a lot of the days of my life, I just wanted to be out of my job. I ended up having enough money to go all in. Now, it wasn't a lot of money. It was not enough to really live, but it was enough to exist and actually buy myself the time now to see where this could go and just do what I wanted to do. But I had a crazy thing happen to me. So the day one that I ended up giving my notice and I fully left my job, I sat down at my desk <laughs> and I was working on my business and realized that now, guess what? There were all these things I hated that I had to do to now grow my business. Like I quit my job to do something that I was passionate about that was impactful to people and helpful. And now I was working for money again. And I felt kind of screwed. And it made me realize a very important thing that no matter what you think is the end point, that when you get there, things are gonna be good is a lie. And for me, even though it was a low amount of money to work for myself, I realized, wow, I just got a new job that's 10 times harder. And it made me learn that if I don't feel excitement about what I do every day, there is no change in my quality of life truly. Because as long as I have food and shelter and a place to show up where I have enough income coming in to survive, the only thing that matters is excitement about my days. So I created this thing, this little notebook called The Masterwork, very pretentiously. I'm a very pretentious person in case you didn't realize. But the point of it was that even though all day here we're talking about daily habits and daily rituals to change your life, what happens though to the inner daily habits and the inner daily rituals? You know, I had all the external rituals because I'd quit my job, now I was working on this business, but they didn't make me happy because now I was grumpy again. Even though I, I had what I thought would make me feel happy three years ago, you know, three years ago I was like, that's the dream. If I get that, I'm gonna be good. I will have milked a pigeon, all right? And now all of a sudden I have it and I'm kind of doing what I want, but there's a lot of other hard stuff as a business owner that I didn't want to do. And so I ended up coming up with this notebook and the notebook was all about the inner rituals, habits, mantras, pieces of advice, quotes from other books and authors and gurus and Lao Tzu about how to really maintain your inner state. And so this new book became my focal point for my inner daily rituals. So I had my outer daily rituals that I talk about all day here and I have my inner daily rituals now. And so what I did was this masterwork became the compilation of everything all in one location. Now what I did was I filled this little moleskin with inspirational stories from other people. You know, one is the story of a failed entrepreneur that told about how hard his entrepreneurial life was. And then he built this one business that was effortless to the point where he sold it for 22 million. And he said, you know, after I had that experience, I recognized what effortlessness feels like. And another author who talked about, you know, his startup company failed. It was gonna be his billion dollar brand. He was suicidal. And then he did these mantras every single day to feel well. And since then, his only promise to himself was to trust his gut and to see what happened. And he said, guess what? Sometimes that goal you worked on for 10 years materializes in one day when you're rolling with your intuition. And some of those stories are about historical people and prophets and people like Harriet Tubman, who was of the Underground Railroad fame, who was said to get these kind of hunches from God. Now, I know in real life she was epileptic, but she was notoriously famous for having that sixth sense where people said she was guided by God. And that was why she thinks she was able to get these people out of slavery. So I have all these stories of Dharma and purpose and trusting your gut and intuition in this book. And so each day, this becomes my focal point for my inner state. 
And then from there, I can then do any outer ritual. But the point is, I'm starting it from the right perspective this time, which is really alignment with what excites me right now. Now, I've shared some snippets of what's in this book, but I will release more of it in an upcoming course. But I thought I would share this because for you, maybe making your own master work, you know, the one source of all the key material for protecting your state will help you getting through this time or this phase of your life or even just the next few weeks. So it's worth trying and check it out. All right, guys. So don't forget, I have a free journaling worksheet right below this video. You'll also get a weekly journaling email on how to use journaling to get your life together and build an awesome life. And then before you go, two related videos for you right over here.